Hello guys, welcome to wincystech.com and today we will see how to set up Selenium WebDriver with c programming. For that first we need Visual Studio software where you can write and execute the c code. So we have a couple of small steps here, it's very easy. Download the Selenium c files that's called some c DLLs to execute the Selenium script. So from the Selenium website. As you know already the Selenium main website is seleniumhq.org where you get support for your uh, Selenium scripts or documentations, IDE, RC, grid servers etc. So here click on download link. Go down you can see here Selenium client and webdriver language bindings. So if you are a C shop guy then you have to download these language bindings to execute your Selenium scripts. If you are a Java programmer or developer or tester, so you have to download the Java doc. And also you have this API docs for C shop. So you have all the namespaces, all the namespaces, interfaces, classes, whatever, etc. So here you can see I webdriver. So this webdriver have some methods. So close means this will close the current window and the navigate will be used to instruct the driver to navigate the browser to another location where you can use this for uh, open any URL like that. So we'll cover all these things in the latter classes, right? So let's go back to our steps to implement Selenium. So download the Selenium C-Shop files from the Selenium website. So this is the place. So click here so you will get download so i downloaded these files to my c drive that's uh, selenium.net 2.39 like this so here you will get like these two subfolders this is basically for dotnet uh, 3.4 and dotnet 4.0 if you click on inside again the folder so you can see all the dlls so basically these are the web driver dlls which supports the selenium scripts etc to open your browser to do the automation etc right so this is done so download the IE driver from the Selenium website means if you want to execute uh, with the cross browsers like IE or Chrome go back to Selenium website and here if you want to work with Chrome browser so click here and download the latest version whatever for the Chrome so here you will get for Linux Mac Windows etc so download this and keep in a folder in C drive so basically that's a just single file C drive and I kept here called Chrome driver folder so this is an application like exe file in C drive the same I downloaded IE driver so I kept in folder called IE driver so you will get a file called this is one single jar file sorry it's not a jar file it's a exe file so IE driver server right so now we have to go to Visual Studio. So I have Visual Studio 2008. You can use any version of Visual Studio, latest like 8, 9, 10, whatever. So file, new, new project. Select console application and give the name WebDriver test. So you will get editor like this where you can write the program here as I guess you know already the C shop etc. Right so now to implement selenium or to execute the selenium scripts or test cases before writing the script so first you have to add the reference libraries to your project. So click on project at the top click on add reference click here browse and select the folder where you have downloaded the selenium files c shop select the folder and select the version this is very important so select the version which you are using so i am using dotnet 3.5 so i will select all these DLL files 
and I will click on OK. You can see right side, right side, all these DLL files added to my project. So you can add the same from here as well. Web driver, right click, add reference. So from here as well, you can do the same step. So I did from here project add reference like this. So now your project is ready to implement to implement Selenium web driver. So I'm writing a small code here. I will explain you later about this. So this is the namespace i web driver driver equals to new firefox driver so here you can give the reference name as a as you wish so i given here d i web driver d equals to new firefox driver that means you are implementing this i web driver by using firefox browser so this firefox browser will be opened by using firefox driver and methods we are using i web driver methods right so you can see some errors because you have to add this namespaces at the top so using I will add directly from here so don't forget to add these namespaces so now you can see the error is gone this selenium.ie so this is for opening IE browser and this selenium.chrome it will be helpful for to open chrome driver and firefox will be opened by firefox so now we will write here d dot navigate dot So basically it will open the winsystech.com website by using Firefox. So D dot means driver dot navigate. Navigate will allow you to go to the particular URL and it will open the winsystech.com website. Yeah, so now it's I think everything ready. So before that, make sure you have to assign to the project project web driver test properties here make sure you are using the same framework which you have added the libraries at the right side to the project and here you have to set up the start of the program so this is this will be my startup program I save the file I will go back to this program and I will just execute see you can see the Firefox is opened by web driver and it's opened my website called winsystech.com I hope this will this video will help you guys so thank you thanks for watching the video